What's up guys? Thank you again for tuning in to another video. This one's going to be a little different here. I just got back from Costco and what I'm going to be doing is doing a little grocery haul overview specifically for someone who is experimenting with our keto or a paleo diet. Because for those of you who don't know, I'm currently doing paleo right now. If you want to learn more about that, there's tons of resources online that will do a much better job of explaining what those are than I will. But basically paleo is just eating what is naturally found in nature or what could have been naturally found in nature from our ancestors and from cavemen. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more content like this. Hope you guys enjoy this one. All right, now the first food group I'm gonna go over for you guys is my big protein sources. Now just some factors to keep in mind before I go into this. I don't consume protein powders. I don't eat protein bars all that much. I don't do a whole bunch of egg whites. I do protein that it could be naturally found in nature. And I probably, I don't, I haven't tracked in a while, but anywhere between 120 to 150 grams a day. So first thing I'm gonna start with here, Greek yogurt, two reasons. Number one, protein, 23 grams per cup and only nine grams of carbs, so great ratio there. And massive, massive reason for this, probiotic. Yogurt is one of the best natural foods for probiotic or good bacteria and introducing good bacteria within your gut. Number two here, bacon, just because bacon's delicious. Number three here, we got some organic Kirkland brand eggs. Eggs, they've been demonized a lot, demonized a lot for the yolks, but the yolks are actually what contain all of the nutrients. The white doesn't have any of the nutrients, so I do whole eggs. I don't even separate out the way. I do whole eggs. And lastly, got some organic ground turkey. I don't eat that much meat anymore. I used to back three or four years ago eat maybe a half a pound to around a pound of different assortments of meat per day, but now I only probably do you know a couple ounces or so for lunches. Next, I'm gonna go over some of the primary carb sources. Now, the big difference between paleo and keto is in keto, you try to eat less than 50 grams of carbs a day, and in paleo, it can be anywhere between 100 to 150. So because I'm paleo, I try to stick to that range. So my main carb sources, black beans for fiber, and complex carbohydrates, and they're another good source of protein. And then fruit-wise, I do a lot of blueberries. Blueberries because they're one of the most rich antioxidant foods you can find out there. And for those of you who love the consistency of rice and just love rice but are considering going keto or paleo, riced cauliflower is a must-have. It's Basically, for the equivalent serving of cauliflower, you're getting four grams of carbs as opposed to rice where you're getting 34. So you're saving a ton of calories there if you're trying to experiment with that. And then two big things of broccoli for the veggies. And then something I've really been enjoying lately, string green beans. I just boil these up and they actually, you know, they taste pretty good. You get a nice crunch to them. And one of the beauties with going paleo and keto is you, get, you eat so many vegetables and so many complex carbohydrates that you get a lot of trace protein from those sources. That way you don't need to spend you know, an astronomical amount of money on your protein sources. Next we got our fat sources, because who doesn't love fat? Big thing for me, walnuts. High in polyunsaturated fats. And then walnuts are actually a good prebiotic, which is food for the probiotic or for your gut bacteria. Number two here we got Avocados, which is a good source of monounsaturated fat. And now that I covered the major different macronutrients, just a couple of miscellaneous things I got. So for those of you who don't like dry food, which is uh, hopefully everybody, you like to spice things up, you like to add condiments to your food. But if you're trying to go keto or paleo, you start adding on your ketchups and your barbecue sauces. The calories and the sugars, the added sugars are gonna add up. So a big thing for me, mustard, whether it's spicy brown mustard, Dijon, just regular yellow mustard. Mustard adds a ton of flavor to your food with little to no calories. And people sometimes frown at the sodium, but you need sodium in your diet, and even more so in paleo or keto. And then milk, I am not lactose intolerant or anything, but I just prefer the taste of almond milk and it doesn't have all the added sugar that normal milk does. And then one more thing that's a big staple in my diet, apple cider vinegar, it'll focus in there. So apple cider vinegar has a cohort of health benefits. I've, I've done an Instagram post about that if you want to check in, you know, link will be in the description. Sh shameless plug on that one. But the biggest thing with me with the apple cider vinegar is helps with reduction of inflammation. It's another prebiotic, so it's helped feeding that good gut bacteria. And it actually helps with allergies as we're getting into the, the changing of the seasons. It helps introduce some 
different immunal system functions in your body. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by and hanging out with me for a little bit. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe because that it helps the channel grow and that'll help more videos like this get out there and help inform more people. And again, I greatly do appreciate you guys stopping by and hanging out with me and I hope you have a great day. Thanks guys.